Well, good afternoon and welcome to Java with Jim. I'm Jim Reese, Director of Business Development at Offit Kerman. And I'm here today with Christy Simon, President and CEO of Central Maryland Chamber of Commerce, one of my favorite chambers. Christy, good afternoon. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks, Jim, for the kind words and for having me today. Yeah, thanks for being here. Um, Christy, tell us about the Central Maryland Chamber and what you do to support the business community around you. Yeah, so the Chamber, the Central Maryland Chamber has four core strategies that are a part of our mission. Um, we advocate, we promote, we inform, and we connect. So those are our areas of focus. Um, we advocate by being really active in our community. Um, we engage with our elected officials, county agencies. We're very active at Fort Meade. Um, and active with the Maryland Chamber, U.S. Chamber, and all kinds of other nonprofit organizations as well. Um, we promote our members through a lot of free online and print advertising. Um, we offer sponsorship opportunities and things along those lines. We inform our members and keep the business community up to date on breaking news, like through COVID. We were constantly updating the membership on county and state guidelines for restrictions and reopening. Um, also, we shared all the grant and loan programs we could learn about so we could share that with them. Uh, and we also keep the business community up to date on legislative issues that may affect them. We pride ourselves on having tons and tons of educational events on all kinds of topics to help our businesses be successful. Um, and our last pillar is connections. We connect our members um, in all kinds of ways, but we do have about 12 committees and networking groups through the chamber. We offer leadership opportunities like serving on the board of directors. And as I mentioned, we have so many events throughout the year and we love providing direct referrals. That's one thing we really pride ourselves on is making direct connections. And speaking of connections, um... You guys stay well connected with your members. I know I get your emails and your notifications and updates all the time, and they're very informative, so thank you. Thank um, you. Christy, when it comes to the Central Maryland Chamber, what are you most proud of? Well, that's a tough question. Um, there are so many things that I'm proud of, but I'm, I'm so impressed by the strength of our members, which we've really, really seen over the past 14 months. Um, we just have the most caring, friendly, and helpful membership around, and they are really like a family, and they're committed to the success of other members, which is really special. And then, you know, I'm also constantly amazed by the strength of our staff and our team members. I'm just very grateful every day for having the most amazing team, and they pride themselves in taking great care of our members especially over the last year. Um, we also have a great and engaged board of directors. And something really special about us we're proud of is that we have a very active military affairs committee at the chamber um, in partnership with Fort Meade. And we were recently recognized with the Army Community Partnership Award, which is an international recognition of partnerships between Army posts and community organizations all over the world um, with the intention of improving the lives of service members and their families. Christy, you mentioned how uh, your staff uh, really came through during the pandemic the last 16 months or so. Um, what will you and the chamber be focused on in the next six months? Well, uh, I can't even express how excited we are to reconnect with our members in person. We actually had a great net networking event this morning um, and a really successful golf tournament last week. Um, and people are thrilled to get back together. Uh, reconnect and make new connections as well. So we are really, really busy behind the scenes scheduling more events for later in the summer and uh, events for the fall and the winter as well. Um, you know, we'll also be focusing on continuing our outreach to members to see how we can continue to help them through this recovery. It does kind of feel like things are starting to return to normal, but so many of our businesses just aren't quite out of the woods. And um, we're helping with various things like setting up vaccine clinics at, lo at business locations in partnership with the health department. Um, we've been aiding businesses in return to work plans, and we're even working on initiatives to help businesses with some of the hiring struggles that they're going through. Yeah, that's that's terrific. Um, I know you can't wait for these in-person uh, events, neither can I. Um, all right, so I'm hopeful that there are going to be a lot of people watching this video interview. So what do most people watching this not know 
about Christy Simon. <laughs> and don't tell me that you're related to Carly. No, I'm not, unfortunately. <laughs> or Paul. <laughs> <laughs> We're so, simple. We're simple. <laughs> there you go. Um, when I talk to a lot of our members and um, people I run into in general in the business community, most people are really surprised to hear that I actually started my position kind of mid-pandemic. Uh, I accepted the position in February of 2020, but by the time I started in April, uh, we were teleworking, quarantined. Um, you know, we had to switch a lot of our events, uh, both our small events and our big premiere events to online. Um, so as we're starting to have some of these in-person events, it's really, really fun. I'm meeting some of our board members who I've formed great relationships with over the com computer, but I've met a lot of them for the very first time. So, um, you know, it's been a really different first year than I could have expected originally, but I think if we got through and survived all of this, we can uh, do anything and the sky's the limit for 2021 into 2022. You are so right. Well, congratulations <laughs> to you from uh, by you know for starting, uh, you know in, in where you did uh, after the pandemic just uh, just hit us and and uh, and and just getting through this. Uh, not only just getting through, but prospering. So congratulations to you and and the chamber. I know I'll see you soon at an event. And thanks for joining me today. Thank you, Jim. Have a great day. All right. See ya. Bye.